Here at the Isle of Wight Driving Academy, today we're going to do a left reverse around the corner. So I've pulled up before the junction, I'm going to drive past the junction by a couple of car lengths and reverse back into the side road trying to keep as close to the pavement as I can. Now I'm ready to move off so I'm now preparing my car so I'm getting into gear, setting my gas and finding my biting point. Now I'm going to start my blind spot checks on my full 360 degree. I'm starting from the pavement side first to make sure there's no one coming down the pavement. And I'm checking all of my mirrors, finishing with my right blind spot. There's a few cars moving around, so I'm going to determine that I'm going to indicate to move away from the side of the road on this occasion. I'm doing my last right shoulder check and I'll find it. Now I'm coming into the road halfway along and checking my interior rear view mirror and my left hand door mirror. There is no one behind me, so I'm not going to indicate on this occasion as I'm pulling up to come to the side of the road. I'm driving a couple of car lengths past it to then reverse back. Again, I'm preparing my car now in reverse gear to start the manoeuvre. I've secured my car with the handbrake because there's a slight roll to the road. And I'm preparing again and doing my full blind spot check to ensure that it's going to be safe to move. Now on the straight line reversing, I'm spending the majority of my time looking out of the rear window. Every car length I go back, I'm checking out the front and my door mirrors and my right blind spot to make sure no one is around. And I'm keeping my car at less than walking coming back to my point of turn where the straight curve finishes and the curve begins and I'm pausing my car. This is to allow me to do another full blind spot check. So as I turn into the corner or reverse into the corner I'm doing half a turn of the steering wheel only because it's a sweeping rounded corner. Anything more than that will put me too close to the pavement immediately. I'm using my side left hand door mirror to help me maintain my distance and I'm checking over my right shoulder again on my blind spot to ensure that it's still safe to continue. I'm looking up behind me, there's someone mowing their lawn, so I'm just going to make sure that there's no one else around. I've added another quarter of a turn of the steering wheel towards the curbstone and the pavement because my car is getting slightly wide. I'm rechecking my blind spots and the roads that I'm reversing from. I'm almost around the corner now, so I'm using my, again, rear view back window and my side door mirror to be able to line my car up with the pavement in the distance. This manoeuvre is not a parking manoeuvre, so I don't have to get really close to the pavement, but I just want to make sure that I'm accurate in the road. Again, I'm looking out of my rear window to ensure that it's safe to continue. I'm only reversing a couple of car lengths back to demonstrate that I can do some straight line reversing. And that's the manoeuvre completed for today.